Welcome to the global defense battle. The B-2 Spirit, developed by the United States, is a long-range stealth bomber manufactured by Northrop Grumman. It was designed during the Cold War to penetrate dense anti-aircraft defenses and deliver both conventional and nuclear payloads. The B-2 is a successor to earlier bomber programs, notably influenced by the B-1 Lancer. Its primary role is strategic bombing, with the ability to evade radar detection using its advanced stealth technology. The aircraft officially entered service on January 1, 1997, with the United States Air Force. The B-2 is still considered one of the most advanced stealth bombers in the world, justifying its place in comparisons against newer designs. On the other hand, the H-20, being developed by China, is an upcoming stealth bomber produced by the Xi'an Aircraft Industrial Corporation under the supervision of the People's Liberation Army Air Force. The H-20 is part of China's efforts to modernize its long-range strike capabilities and is expected to rival the capabilities of the B-2 Spirit. This aircraft marks China's shift towards indigenous advanced bomber technology and is believed to follow the design lineage of previous Chinese bombers like the H-6 series. Though an exact induction date remains unclear, reports suggest it might enter service by the late 2020s. The B-2 Spirit is a proven platform with decades of operational history, while the H-20 is China's future contender aimed at challenging American dominance in stealth technology. And today, we will compare both of these stealth bombers, United States B-2 Spirit vs. China H-20. So let's start. Talking about the design and dimensions first, the B-2 Spirit features a distinctive flying wing design, meaning it lacks a traditional fuselage and tail, which helps it evade radar detection. The aircraft's body is smooth and flat, with a wingspan of 52.4 meters and a length of 21 meters. It stands at a height of 5.18 meters. The B-2's empty weight is approximately 56,700 to 72,600 kilograms, and its maximum takeoff weight ranges from 152,600 to 159,000 kilograms. On the other hand, the H-20 specific details are limited due to its development status. It's anticipated to adopt a flying wing configuration similar to the B-2, aiming to reduce radar visibility. Speculative dimensions suggest a wingspan of around 39.4 meters and a length of approximately 45.7 meters. The H-20's empty weight is estimated at 52,124 kilograms, with a loaded weight of about 82,745 kilograms. These differences reflect each country's design priorities and technological approaches in developing stealth bombers. Talking about the engine and performance, the B-2 Spirit is powered by four General Electric F-118G E-100 non-afterburning turbofan engines, each producing a thrust of 17,300 pounds. This propulsion enables the B-2 to achieve a top speed of approximately 1,010 km per hour at high altitude. The aircraft has an unrefueled range of about 9,600 km, which can extend to 16,093 miles with one aerial refueling. It operates at a service ceiling of 15,240 meters. The B-2's maximum takeoff weight is 152,634 kilograms, resulting in a thrust-to-weight ratio of approximately 0.21. This ratio indicates that the aircraft's engines provide 21% of the thrust needed to counteract its weight, reflecting its design focus on stealth and long-range capabilities rather than high acceleration. The B-2 has a climb rate of about 457 meters per minute, allowing it to reach operational altitude efficiently. On the other hand, specific details about the H-20 stealth bomber remain largely undisclosed. However, it's speculated that the H May 20th be equipped with two or four non-afterburning turbofan engines, each providing an estimated thrust between 15,000 to 20,000 pounds. The aircraft is expected to have a subsonic top speed, aligning with its strategic role in long-range missions. Estimates suggest an operational range between 8,500 to 10,000 kilometers, enabling it to conduct extended missions without refueling. The H-20 service ceiling is anticipated to be comparable to other strategic bombers, potentially around 15,240 meters, with an estimated maximum takeoff weight ranging from 150,000 to 200,000 kilograms. The thrust-to-weight ratio would likely be in the range of 0.15 to 0.20, suggesting a design optimized for stealth and range over speed and maneuverability. Information regarding its rate of climb and descent is currently unavailable. Overall, both the B-2 Spirit and the H-20 are designed as long-range, stealth strategic bombers with subsonic speeds and similar service ceilings.
Talking about the weapons and payload capacity, the B-2 Spirit is capable of carrying a maximum payload of 18,144 kilograms. This payload includes both conventional and nuclear weapons. Conventional armaments encompass a variety of munitions, such as Mark 82 and Mark 84 bombs, CBU-87 combined effects munitions, Gator mines, and the CBU-97 sensor fused weapon. For precision strikes, the B-2 can deploy up to 80 joint direct attack munitions dams. In terms of nuclear capabilities, it is equipped to carry B-61 and B-83 nuclear bombs. All weapons are housed internally within two bomb bays, utilizing a rotary launcher assembly or bomb rack assemblies, which preserves the aircraft's stealth profile by minimizing radar cross-section. In contrast, details about China's H-20 stealth bomber remain speculative, but it is anticipated that the H-20 will have a payload capacity of approximately 10 tons, capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear munitions. The conventional arsenal may include land attack and anti-ship cruise missiles, enhancing its versatility in various mission profiles. Nuclear capabilities are expected to be part of its design, contributing to China's strategic deterrence. Similar to the B-2, the H-20 is likely to feature internal weapon bays to maintain stealth characteristics by reducing radar visibility. Both bombers are engineered to penetrate enemy airspace undetected, relying on advanced stealth technologies and internal weapon storage to minimize radar signatures. The B-2 has demonstrated its effectiveness in this role through various operational deployments, successfully delivering both conventional and nuclear payloads with precision. The H-20 aims to achieve similar capabilities, enhancing China's ability to conduct strategic strikes while evading modern air defenses. Internal carriage of weapons in both aircraft not only preserves their stealth profiles, but also allows for a diverse range of munitions to be deployed, making them formidable assets in both nuclear and conventional strike missions. Regarding cockpit and avionics, the B-2 Spirit features a highly advanced cockpit designed for a two-person crew, a pilot, and a mission commander. The cockpit is equipped with digital displays and electronic instruments, replacing traditional analog gauges to enhance situational awareness and operational efficiency. Automation plays a significant role, with systems managing routine flight operations, allowing the crew to focus on mission-critical tasks. Over the years, the B-2's avionics have undergone upgrades to maintain effectiveness against modern threats, including enhanced electronic warfare capabilities and improved navigation systems. The B-2's avionics suite includes the ANAPQ-181 multimode radar, a fully digital navigation system integrated with terrain-following radar and global positioning system guidance. The aircraft also employs a defensive management system that informs the crew of potential threats and can automatically assess detection capabilities of identified threats. These systems are controlled by multiple radiation-hardened avionics control units, interconnected through data buses, ensuring resilience and reliability. Information about the H-20 Stealth Bomber's cockpit and avionics is limited. However, it is anticipated that the H-20 will feature a modern cockpit with advanced avionics systems, including sophisticated radar, communication systems, and electronic warfare capabilities. These systems are expected to enhance situational awareness, navigation, and mission effectiveness, aligning with the aircraft's strategic role in long-range missions. Regarding stealth features, the B-2 Spirit employs advanced stealth technology to minimize detection by enemy radar systems. Its unique flying wing design reduces radar cross-section by eliminating vertical tail surfaces, which are common reflectors of radar waves. The aircraft's surfaces are coated with radar-absorbent materials that further diminish radar returns. Additionally, the B-2's engine intakes and exhausts are carefully designed to minimize infrared and acoustic signatures, making it less detectable to heat-seeking and auditory sensors. These features enable the B-2 to penetrate sophisticated air defense networks effectively. On the other hand, the H-20 is anticipated to incorporate a flying wing design similar to the B-2, aiming to reduce radar visibility. The H-20 is expected to feature advanced materials and coatings to absorb radar waves, as well as design elements that minimize infrared and acoustic signatures. These stealth characteristics are intended to enhance its ability to evade modern air defenses. In terms of maneuverability, both the B-2 and the anticipated H-20 are designed primarily for strategic bombing missions, emphasizing stealth and range over agility. Their large wingspans and flying wing configurations provide stability and lift for long-duration flights but limit sharp maneuvering capabilities. Regarding survivability, the B-2 relies heavily on its stealth features to avoid detection and engagement, as it lacks heavy armor and is not designed to withstand significant battle damage. 
The H-20 is expected to follow a similar philosophy, prioritizing stealth to evade threats rather than incorporating extensive defensive armaments or armor. Both aircraft are designed to deliver payloads deep into enemy territory while avoiding detection, with their survivability hinging on their ability to remain unseen. Regarding electronic warfare system, the B-2 Spirit is equipped with a sophisticated defensive management system, which detects and analyzes electronic threats, providing real-time situational awareness to the crew. This system enables the B-2 to identify and avoid enemy radar and missile systems effectively. Additionally, the B-2's ANAPQ-181 radar, an active electronically scanned array system, offers low probability of intercept capabilities, allowing the aircraft to perform terrain following and targeting operations without revealing its position. These features enhance the B-2's ability to penetrate advanced air defense networks and conduct precision strikes. On the other hand, the H-20 Stealth Bomber will incorporate advanced avionics and electronic warfare systems designed to enhance situational awareness and enable coordinated strikes alongside other air, land, or sea assets. The emphasis on stealth in its design suggests that the H May 20th include radar absorbent materials and low profile air intakes to minimize radar cross section, making it suitable for operations in heavily defended airspace. Both aircraft are designed to operate in contested environments, with an emphasis on stealth and advanced electronic systems to disrupt enemy communications and sensors. Regarding cost, the B 2 Spirit is one of the most expensive aircraft ever developed. The total program cost, which includes development, engineering, testing, production, and procurement, was approximately $44.75 billion in 1997 dollars. This averages to about $2.13 billion per aircraft when considering the 21 units produced. The procurement cost per aircraft, including spare parts and software support, was around $929 million in 1997 dollars. Factors contributing to these high costs include advanced stealth technology, sophisticated avionics, and the limited production run, which prevented economies of scale. Operating the B-2 is also costly. In 2010, the cost per flight hour was estimated at up to $135,000, about twice that of the B-52 and B-1 bombers. Maintenance is intensive. As of September 1997, each hour of flight required 119 hours of maintenance. Additionally, the aircraft's stealth coatings necessitate specialized, climate-controlled hangars, further increasing expenses. These factors contribute to substantial life cycle costs, encompassing maintenance, upgrades, and eventual disposal. On the other hand, regarding H-20 stealth bombers' costs, estimates suggest that the H-20's unit cost could be between $290 to $350 million. However, these figures are speculative and may not account for total program expenses, including research and development. Factors influencing the H-20's cost likely include the integration of advanced stealth features, new avionics, and the scale of production. A total of 21 B-2 aircraft were produced, with 20 currently in active service. These bombers are primarily based at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, under the command of the 509th Bomb Wing. The B-2 has been deployed globally, participating in various missions, including strategic deterrence, precision strikes, and joint exercises with allied nations. Notably, in September 2024, B-2 bombers were deployed to Royal Australian Air Force Base Amberley in Queensland, Australia, to conduct training missions and enhance interoperability with Australian forces. The B-2 is not available for export and remains exclusive to the United States Air Force. In contrast, the H-20 is an upcoming Chinese stealth bomber. As of now, no H-20 units have been produced or deployed, with reports suggesting that the aircraft may enter service in the 2030s. Consequently, there are no deployment locations or operational missions to report for the H-20 at this time. Information regarding the export status of the H-20 is not available, but it is likely that, similar to other strategic bombers, it will be retained for national use and not offered for export. Both, the B-2 Spirit and the upcoming H-20 represent the cutting edge of stealth bomber technology from the United States and China, respectively. As technology advances, these bombers will continue to define global aerial warfare strategy for years to come. Which stealth bomber do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.